Hi there. Welcome back, everybody. So the kids are a little bored with toast and cereal in the morning. They've been back to school a couple of weeks. Why not surprise them and make something a little different, a nice warm breakfast um, that you can, you know, get a little something into their stomach or house to smell so good in the morning. And I know mornings are crazy busy, so that's the best part about this recipe. You make it the night before. You let it sit in the refrigerator, pop it in the oven in the morning, and it's so easy. You'll probably have some leftovers so the kids can eat it a couple more days during the week. It's a ham and cheese brunch bake, and it is just delicious. So it starts out with six eggs. I've already cracked four of them, so let me do two more. And this is one of the easiest brunch casseroles ever. So I'm just going to scramble those eggs together. And three cups of milk. My kids are big breakfast eaters, and I'm not there in the morning, so I'm here getting ready for the show. So, um, you know, I can make something like this the night before. Bob can throw it in the oven, and, you know, then I can feel good that they had a, a good start to their morning. I admit, most days it is cereal and toast, bagels, but sometimes it's nice to kind of shake things up, do something different. All right, I'm going to season this egg batter with a little bit of garlic salt, or you could use regular salt, a little bit of dry mustard, and some pepper. So that's that. I've got one big loaf of French bread, and I just greased a 9 by 13 pan, and I've got half of that loaf of bread cut into cubes in the bottom. Now we've got some cheese. I've got three cups of shredded cheddar cheese, and you're going to see how quick this goes together. I mean, quick, quick, quick. A cup and a half of Swiss. This is just shredded Swiss cheese. You just get it in the bag. You can shred it yourself if you want, but who has time to do that these days? If you're not a big fan of Swiss, you could do, you know, mozzarella or just do all cheddar. And then this is just some deli ham. I always pick up ham on Sundays when they're uh, slicing it fresh at festival, that warm ham. I make sandwiches with it during the week for kids, the kids and, and Bob. So get a little extra, one pound, just dice it up and throw it in this egg bake. All right, rest of that bread goes in here, right on top of the ham and the cheese. And I know it looks all puffy now, but once it gets that egg batter over the top, it'll just uh, absorb into that bread, but it does puff up wonderfully. And it's such a pretty, pretty casserole. All right, so carefully just drizzle this egg right over the top. Cover this with foil or plastic wrap. Get it in the refrigerator over the night, overnight. Take it out in the morning, about an hour, hour 15 minutes before you need to eat it. And the last thing you're going to do, and this is before you bake it, is I've got two cups, two to three cups of crushed cornflakes. This is the cornflake cereal. Crush it up. Save those crumbs on the bottom. And that's going to give it a little crunch. And that you throw on right before you bake it. Hey, while I'm doing this, i got to tell everybody about our big night out. If you've been before, you know how much fun it is. If you haven't been, you have to come. Once a month, I am heading to host a dinner at a local restaurant, and these restaurants are going all out. I mean, they are putting together the best of what they do. So our next one is a German meal, getting me ready for fall and Oktoberfest. It's at Mark's Eastside in Appleton. Going to be several courses, appetizer soup, salad, big German entree, and a wonderful German dessert, all paired with German beers and wines. It's $50 a person. It's coming up Wednesday, September 29th. Uh, call for reservations. It is just a blast. Just a great way to try out restaurants, uh, different new restaurants, and uh, it's just fun. Meet new people. This, again, uh, will go into the refrigerator until we want to bake it tomorrow morning. We'll bake it up for the crew, but I want to show you how this one turns out just puffs up and beautiful. And I did that. I had four, four minutes to do this recipe. So if I had four minutes, you can do it in about four minutes, too. Recipe is on our website. You can also pick it up at any Festival Foods. Wait just about five minutes uh, for it to cool, and then it'll cut up nicely into great squares. And Pete and Rachel will bring you over a piece. Serve this with some fresh fruit and a muffin, and you've got a, a wonderful brunch. And hey, I'm always cooking, even on the weekends. Big game on Sunday. What are you making as far as the hors d'oeuvres go? I've got some great ideas. So make sure and watch Sunday on Good Day Wisconsin. Pete and Rachel will be right back. Stay with us.